Madrid's Sabero Ochoa Hospital is overwhelmed. Patients filling the hallways, struggling to breathe, waiting for the privilege of oxygen. For many here, the shortage of ventilators and medical staff could prove to be deadly. For a shocking number, it already has. Spain's death toll from COVID-19 has now surpassed China's. I don't want to get involved in politics because it's not the time, but when I hear on TV that there is sufficient material, and then my colleagues this morning complain that there is not sufficient material, I can't believe it. When the government's crisis committee comes out to say we have everything, it's not true. So many have died this week that Madrid's morgues are also overwhelmed. This ice skating rink will take in the overflow, keeping bodies out of the sun as the country prays for reprieve. Other provisional facilities are popping up around Spain. In Barcelona, the military has erected a temporary homeless shelter where up to a thousand homeless people will be able to isolate in hygienic conditions. Struggling to cope, the government will extend the state of emergency until mid-April. Police are tightening controls to enforce the countrywide lockdown. Anyone without a permit to be out will be fined. Police say they've handed out over 80,000 fines since the rule went into effect 10 days ago. Many Spaniards welcome the strict control on movement. People are not respecting confinement measures. People are irresponsible. A lot of us have to go to work. This is the second control I've passed, and I think it's great. With over 400 million euros of medical equipment on order from China, Spain is looking to see if its efforts will start to stifle the spread of the virus.